What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. For those of you who may not know, or for those of you new to the channel, not only do I like to fish, I also really like to cook, and that's what we're doing in today's video, man. We're gonna head into the kitchen and throw down on that keto orange chicken. I showed a picture of this dish, and I asked everybody if they would like to know how to make it, and enough of you chimed in in the comments section and said that you would like to see the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind out this video for you guys right now. I'm gonna try to make it as simple and as easy as I can, flow through the video and not do too much talking. A lot of times I can be a little long-winded when it comes to these things, so I'm just gonna try to start rocking and rolling, get on with the ingredients, get on with the cooking, show you guys how to make this, show you guys how good it turns out, eat it, and then be done. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's head into the kitchen. First off, let's just rock and roll with everything you're gonna need for this bad boy. Really quick, here we go. You're gonna need a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken breast meat. It can be chicken breast, chicken breast tenders like I have here. Just get like a pound and a half to two pounds, good white chicken meat. Olive oil, rice vinegar, soy sauce chili garlic sauce, ginger, Himalayan pink salt stuff, or regular salt will be fine. No! Oh, fail. Did you see it? Oh, you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. <laughs> You'll get back out of that. Oh, you can have that if you want. Hey, let's clean that up for me there, boys. I appreciate it. Four eggs. You need baking soda. Baking powder. Asian seasoning of your preference. This is the one that I use. Brown sugar substitute. This is Truvia. Sugar-free orange marmalade from Smuckers. You can use whatever brand, but this is the one that I use. Last but not least, most importantly, you need a bag of pork skins. These are the barbecue flavored. You can use hot and spicy, regular, non-flavored, whatever you want to do. These are the ones that I'm gonna use today. I've noticed that you can't really tell the difference. There's the ingredients. Write it down, pause the video, go get everything, come back, let's cook. So this dish sort of consists of two parts, the chicken and then the glaze that goes on the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and just knock the glaze out right now before I start cooking the chicken. So I'll have that ready as soon as the chicken is done cooking. First, we need to start off with a half a cup of this orange marmalade here. Next up, I'm gonna do a full teaspoon of this chili garlic sauce. The original recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon, but I actually like my food spicy, don't mind the heat, love garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little extra, one fat teaspoon. Never hurt anyone. Next up, we need about two tablespoons of your soy sauce. I love soy sauce, man. This is one of my favorite ingredients. Always have it in the cupboard. Never go without the soy sauce. And if you splash a little extra in there, that's okay. All right, next up, you're gonna go in with two tablespoons of your rice vinegar. Next, you'll do about a half a teaspoon of fresh ginger. I have this little squeezed ginger that I got from HEB. And I love ginger, so I'll go in with a little extra. That won't hurt. Last but not least, you're gonna throw in a couple tablespoons of your brown sugar substitute. Usually just eyeball this one. One, two, and one to grow on. Now we're just gonna mix this up. Oh, it's smelling good already. You guys can kind of get a look at that right there. That's the glaze, but it's smelling really good already. So there's that part done. Let's move on to the hard part, the chicken. So for the batter for the chicken, we're not gonna be breading it. We're gonna be using the pork skins. This is gonna be our substitute breading, trust me. You're not gonna be able to tell a difference. These right here, this is the secret ingredient, okay? Just crack the bag open and we'll just start breaking them. Be careful not to bust out the bottom of the bag. If you wanna put them in a food processor, that's fine. This is how I do it. This is the easiest way for me. So just crush these down until they're dust. I'm gonna get that done. It looks something like this. And that's pretty much it. If you're wondering what a bag of pork skins look like, completely smashed up in the bag, there it is. Right there. This is how much you get. Not a lot. Go into your bowl with one cup of your crushed pork skins. One cup. Next, we're gonna go in with all four of these eggs. All right, that glaze sitting there smells so good. Next, you wanna do just a couple tablespoons of water. Just a little bit. Next, we're gonna go in with two teaspoons of this baking powder. Next is one whole teaspoon of baking soda. This one's a little harder to measure out. Next, you're gonna do about a half a teaspoon of your pink Himalayan salt. 
And then I go in with about a half a packet of this honey sesame seasoning. And that's usually plenty of flavor. Now you just wanna get this mixed up and watch it turn into batter. And there it is guys, that's gonna be our chicken batter, breading, whatever you wanna call it. Set that to the side. All right, now that we have our breading made, the next thing you wanna do is grab your chicken, come over here to the cutting board, and cut it down into nice bite-sized pieces. And then once you've reached this point, it's into the batter with the chicken. And we'll just give that a good mix. All right guys, I swear we're about to actually start cooking. So what you wanna do here, go ahead and get your pan going, nice and hot, probably uh, medium high heat around that level. And once you have your heat going, clean pan, go in with the olive oil, go deep. Go deep with the Evo on this one. You know, this is like, uh, you're gonna fry these little chickies up. Don't worry, olive oil, healthy fats, all good. There's a good little layer there. This is my favorite olive oil, California Olive Ranch. This is a good brand if you're looking for uh, some good olive oil to try out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hoo, hoo. I can smell that Evo a little bit, starting to get warm there. This is the test, this is what you do. You reach down with your tongs and you grab just a little piece of batter or something, drop it into that Evo and you look at it and then you can see right there that's not quite bubbling. That's not ready yet. It should be bubbling, sizzling. My point is, we want a reaction when we set the chicken in there. We don't want it to just, nah, reaction. Let that heat up for just a few more seconds while I put this stuff away. Okay, she's looking about hot enough now. So, what you wanna do is go into your, uh, your bowl here where you have your chicken and your batter, and just uh, go in and grab you a piece. And keep in mind that they're not gonna look like they're really too covered in batter when you pull them out of here. The looks will be a little deceiving, but trust me, once this starts cooking, it's gonna create a nice layer of crunchy, breaded chicken, no worries. So just go in, don't worry about what it looks like right now. Trust the process, and then uh, start setting in your pieces one by one. Give them a little space, you don't wanna crowd the pan, but make sure you're getting that little sizzle reaction there like we're getting. That's what you want. You hear that singing to us? She's singing to us. So just fill the pan like this, man. I'm gonna go around and fill the pan, rock and roll, right along. This show is on the road now. We are on our way to some awesome keto orange chicken. It's gonna be awesome. All right, like I said, don't crowd the pan. That's about good right there. Let these go. You let them go until they're good and crispy, and then we flip them, take them to 165, 175, and that's it. They come out of the pan, onto the plate. Let's keep it rolling. Another thing you want is the soapiness. You see the soapiness? You don't want your oil too hot. See, I've got my, I've got my heat at like medium right now. So you just want that nice little soapy bubbles, little soapy bubbles. Don't get this going, don't get this raging too hard. Just take your time with this and I promise you, get this soapy bubbles going. That's what you want. That's what it's supposed to look like. Let's keep rocking. Just kind of keeping an eye on the edges, wait until they start to look crispy. And then I'll check one and flip it. Try not to move them, man. Leave it alone, let it ride. That's what you wanna do. All right, let's check it now. Give it a little clip. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. See how that's got that chicken nugget look about it? That's what you want. I'm also gonna keep this thermopin on deck. It's gonna give me the internal temperature. We want this to say 165, 175, 180 is okay. I'm not worried if it goes to 180. 175, that's fine. 165 target. All right, guys, here we are. Batch number one is done. If you did it right, this is what they should look like. And then you just keep rocking and rolling with the same process until you have all these bad boys fried up just like this. I'm gonna get cooking the rest of this chicken and I'll get back with you guys as soon as I have this plate filled. There's a close up look at one of those nuggets, man. What do you guys think? There's not even any breading on there, man. That's pork skins. All right, guys, I'm flipping the second batch right now. 
As always, while I'm cooking, I'm drinking an ice cold Zevia. If you're looking to lose weight and soda is a vice for you like it was for me, check out Zevia Soda, man. Zero calorie, sweetened with stevia extract, super healthy, will not give you diabetes. These sodas literally saved my life. I've lost over 50 pounds drinking these things. And man, I couldn't say more. I'm not sponsored by Zevia. I've never spoken to the Zevia company. I have nothing to do with them, no affiliation whatsoever. I'm just telling you guys, since this is a keto cooking video, if you are looking to lose weight and you have a trouble kicking sodas, look into Zevia. It will save your life. So go in with a thermopin, start checking a couple. And that one says 165 right there. This one. 175. Like I said, it won't hurt if you go over. 180. Like I said, these are done. All right, really quickly while this chicken finishes up, if you guys made it this far in the video, please go down below, click that thumbs up button, subscribe for more. I make new videos all the time. All kinds of content coming at you over here on this channel. Fishing videos, cooking videos, daily vlog videos, all kinds of stuff over here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Let's finish this chicken. All right, guys, I've got one small batch of chicken left, but I wanted to show you this. Let you see what this fried chicken is looking like. Remember, there's no bread in here. This is low carb. Those are pork skins on the outside. But if I served this to you and didn't tell you, I bet you wouldn't even know the difference. All right, guys, all my chicken is done. That's what it looks like. It looks amazing. I already want to eat it, but this journey is not over yet. So what I have here is my oil, my grease from the chicken over here in this pan cooling down, and then I have a fresh pan right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this hot grease, get it into our new pan, all that good chicken flavor, go right in there, don't even worry about that. Still got the heat on, kind of low over here, pretty low, you don't want it too hot, because you have orange peel in this that we made earlier, and you don't want to burn that orange peel. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this glaze that we made up, and we're just gonna go right in to this hot oil. Just like that right there. That's what you want. That sounds good. So let that go. That's what you want it to look like right there. So I've got my heat on super low over here, like turned way down on the burner. And now we're just gonna sort of glaze this out a little bit. Let this thicken up before we add that chicken. That's a good reaction right there. You don't wanna go in too much. Like I said, you do not want to burn these oranges. Then as soon as you have it to that sort of uh, caramelized syrupy layer like that, this is it, man. Moment of truth right here, guys. You just go in with that chicken. Just like that. Whole squat. Stir that chicken around. Keep that heat going. Let it bubble. Stir that chicken around in there. Just like that. We're almost done here, guys. We're about to wrap this bad boy up. It's gonna be done. It's looking and smelling amazing. Turn that heat up just a little bit once that chicken gets back in there. Continue that glazing process. You want that thicken up just a little bit more. What do you guys think so far, man? It's looking pretty good to me. I'm excited, I haven't eaten all day. I've been on this keto one meal a day, working out every day way less than I have in years, and I'm feeling really good, man. And this is one of the meals that's helped me do it right here. I've been eating this the whole time, steadily losing weight, full of energy, feeling great. You can do it too. Let's get it together. Orange chicken going down. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some broccoli on so that I can serve with this. But this is pretty much done, man. Once it gets to this point, you just clear everybody out of the way, turn your burner off, give it one last little shake. Throw it over there to the side and let it stop cooking. And then once it's done bubbling and once it's set up and it's no longer too hot to put in your mouth, this chicken is ready to consume, ready for you to eat, ready for you to enjoy with your friends or your family. And I promise you, everyone is going to love it. This is the way. This is how you get rid of those fast Asian food cravings. If you're on a keto diet and you miss eating at Panda Express, this right here is my best recipe, the best possible imitation that I've ever found. This is it right here. 
I'm gonna throw some broccoli on. We're gonna have chicken and broccoli, and it's gonna be amazing. Let me get this done. Let's get this plated up, and I'll show you guys what the final product looks like on this amazing low-carb orange chicken. All right, guys, here it is, keto orange chicken, all done. Go down to the comments, let me know what you think. Does it look good? Would you eat this? Would you try a bite? Somebody let me know, man. For those of you that asked for this video, this one's for you, man. If you go out and you make this recipe, please post it up on social media and give me a little tag. Let me know how it turned out for you. I would love to see it, but I'm about to sit down and enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video. Cooking Keto with Justin Royal. Subscribe to the channel for more. Click that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos, man. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace. You guys didn't think I was gonna leave without trying it for you, did you? No. Let's go in. There it is, man. Let's try it. Bro.